Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create countdown timer in Android. So what we're going to do is we're going to create one empty activity project in Android Studio. Then next thing to do is get inside your activity underscore main XML. Inside the text view, you have to add text view and use layout width and height to wrap content and set the ID add the plus ID and here text one as the ID okay the next thing we have to do is we have to use one button okay so when this button is pressed the text view should change and display us the countdown timer okay Set it to wrap content for both width and height properties. And then Android ID should be, let's say, add the red plus ID button one. Okay. And make sure to use Android ID, sorry, Android layout to center in parent. Set it to true. So this way your button goes at the center and your text view to the top left okay you can also set buttons text and set something like click timer okay save it now inside main activity java create instance for your button as private button button then text view text view okay now inside protected void on create method you have to create instance for your both button and text view so sorry all four button and then text view equals to text view find view by id then r id go for text one okay now in button and then set on click listener then new view on click listener now inside this go for public void on click so when click happens it should start your countdown timer method okay so type in countdown timer countdown timer equals to new countdown timer and here you get two methods which is one is on tick and second is on finish but in that constructor you have to mention how long you want the timer to continue so 60 multiplied by 1000 I want this to run for one minute okay and inside your on tick method you have to set your text view to something like let's say countdown and then concatenate with mills until finished divided by thousand okay and inside your on finish method you have to use text view dot set text and here countdown and okay now these are the two methods which are running and then here you have to use start okay and this should clean up some errors okay so that's pretty much all the code that we need to execute this program let's check our design so this is timer button on left hand side you have your text view so let's test this in emulator 
it should display the timer button like this and when you click on it pay attention to the left hand side it says countdown and from 60 second backwards it, it it is counting down okay so when it reaches one or zero and it should display that message that we just created inside main activity as countdown end okay okay so the countdown is closing and it shows countdown end as the message so this was a short video on how to create countdown timer inside android